Right now on Denver 7 News at 6 a.m. It is a weather action day. Take a look at conditions all across the Denver Metro. Pretty much looks the same anywhere you go. The roads are rough out there. They are snow covered. Yeah, four different looks right here. Uh, four different live cameras showing you the scene in Thornton, Lakewood, Aurora and Denver. And as Brian said, yeah, it's all snow covered right, right now. Give yourself extra time if you are heading out. Hopefully a lot of you are staying home. The big metro area school districts have all announced they're closed today and you can get that complete list of closures and delays at the bottom of your screen or over at the denverchannel.com and just kind of bundle up and stay safe this morning. We have our team of reporters meanwhile spread out across the metro to give you a real time look at conditions in your area and we're going to check in with all of them here in just a minute. But first, our traffic expert Jason Luber is watching all the roads out there and meteorologist Lisa Hidalgo is here with your forecast. Lisa, uh, winter storm warning really stretching across much of the country. We had a heavy band move through earlier and it is really piling up out there. Yeah, and under that band, we're seeing a good eight to about 10 inches of snowfall already on the ground with potentially another one to four on top of it in some spots. Take a look right now on satellite and radar. Things have lightened up across portions of the metro area. We do have some heavier snow down over the southeastern corner of the state and that one band we were talking about early this morning. You can see it there in the darker blue, bringing some heavier snow to portions of eastern Denver up in there along uh, 76 Commerce City, picking up a bit more Commerce City right now. Most recent check at nine inches of snow and we will likely again see those numbers come up a bit. So right now around four to eight inches across most of the metro area. Another one to four on top of that today. It is going to taper off this afternoon, so most of our additional accumulation is going to fall this morning and through it looks like early afternoon. And here's a look at some of that additional snow. The other story is going to be the cold. You step outside for any length of time and you'll feel it. Take a look this morning. We're in the teens and that is where we shall stay. Jason in the low to mid teens through the afternoon. Bitter cold tonight. I'll show you just how close we are to the record cold tomorrow morning coming up and it will take the snow ending. It will take a little bit warmer temperatures and it will also take some sunshine probably tomorrow when we really start to see some roadway improvements. This is 285. We've had it closed down, but I've seen some traffic now between here Parmalee Gulch down to C470. That is the outbound side or the south or the northbound side technically on 285. High 25 and Logan just saw some plows go through there a little while ago. It was just basically half of the highway was unplowed at 104th and I 25 drive over in golden snow cover. Take a look at the other four cameras and you can see that we have snow cover all over the place and this is down over getting into Castle Pines Parkway. The headlights are the southbounders right now. And there's actually chain laws for the semis from basically the south end of the Denver Tech Center all the way to Baptist on the north side of the spring. So it shows you those conditions down through the gap. C470 and uh, Santa Fe and all the roads around town. Pretty slick for you. Take a look at the drive. Uh, at least the drive times are up for us or Drive times are, are longer, unfortunately, as the speeds are averaging in the 40s for the most part in most areas around town. But I am seeing just maybe a handful of crashes here and there. Veronica Acosta is over here in uh, Lakewood, right there at about 20th and Wadsworth. She was been making her way along Wadsworth and just a stone's throw away from Casa Bonita. Maybe you can go check on their uh, on their progress right now. But how, what are the roads looking like for you, Veronica? A new hill here on near 20th and Wadsworth. We made our way to one of these smaller streets so we can show you what the accumulation looks like here. Take a look at our vehicle. You can see that snow is pretty much right up to the bumper there. It was a little tough for us to even make that U-turn here to make sure that we were a little bit closer to the road. But you can see there the snow goes down a bit. The good news this morning is that we saw two city of Lakewood big plows come through this smaller street. You can see they made that dent there. So they're definitely making their way through the smaller streets slowly, but surely it's those main roads that they're trying to get to as soon as possible. So we'll walk over and show you this hill here that Jason has been mentioning all morning long. We were at that one near Ohio and Wadsworth. This one seems a little bit better in terms of when it's been plowed. We've seen a one more plow through or come through here rather, and that was one of those big city of Lakewood ones. The speeds that vehicles are maintaining here just a little bit quicker than we saw near Ohio in Wadsworth, but still we're seeing some of those smaller cars hit their brake, slow down a bit, and then when they're making their way up the hill, they're also being as slow as possible. The only other thing that we've really seen this morning is quite the number of people walking instead of driving. At least three people were walking this morning, just making their way to wherever they're going. Probably a better option for them than getting in their car and trying to make it through here. And you can see another plow making its way somewhere this morning. Its blades aren't down, so it's not plowing this specific street, but trying to get somewhere. We're going to keep yeah. making our way toward Arvada and keep you guys updated.
All right, thank you, Veronica. A reminder to just be careful walking out yeah. there. You can't see when you step down off the curb a lot of times. Yeah, I'm, I've, I've gotten hurt that way before for sure. Uh, we want to send it out to Colette Bordelon in Denver. Uh, people are digging out around you, Colette. You've seen some parked cars there covered in snow. It's not going to be an easy one. Yeah, you can tell right behind me. Look at all of the snow on the cars. It's got to be one of my worst nightmares to wake up to this and have to deal with all of that first thing in the morning. But you want to make sure that you clear all that off. And you can tell here we're at Pennsylvania and 14th. These neighborhood streets just still so snowy. I mean, you can see where cars have driven through, but then you can also see right here where no cars come through and it's just still pretty messed up right there. Then I want to turn you around and show you what a street looks like that has clearly had some work done to it already. So if you come this way with me, you can see some cars taking it slowly right here. This road not too, too bad compared to, you know, obviously your smaller neighborhood roads. And then of course these sidewalks. I mean, look at this drift. I almost just hurt myself like Nicole said that she's done. <laughs> but like, look at this. These are some crazy sidewalks this morning, but the unsung heroes of today are the people who are clearing off these sidewalks up since 3 a.m. We talked with one man named Mike West. He's been doing this for two decades. He says this snowstorm, it's nothing compared to what he's seen. I uh, just uh, cleaning the walks so people don't fall and bust their butt. It's my job to keep your butts safe. <laughs> I'm so happy that that's his job and that he's keeping our butts safe. But in all seriousness, if you can stay off the roads this morning, that's what I would do. My car just doesn't have enough clearance to get over some of these neighborhood roads. Honestly, there's so much snow out here today. It is still falling much smaller than it was obviously throughout the night. But yeah, we'll be out here. We're going to go find another neighborhood road to give you another look at what it looks like here in Denver. Club Bordelon, Denver 7. Yes. Oh yeah, we'll pass an another thank you on to Mike right. for us there. <laughs> I know, yes. And unfortunately, the snow is uh, still covering up uh, his work this morning. We yeah. want to send it out to Christian Lopez. And Christian, you've been kind of following this system as it's been moving east, and, and it's snowing really good where you are right now in Aurora. Yeah, that's right. This is actually the most snow I've ever seen, so I'm fascinated by all of this right now. And I tried to build my first snowman and I failed miserably because the snow is just kind of too dry. And I did my best, but still need to wait on building a snowman until next time. But let me show you what it looks like right now. You can see just how much snow I'm walking in. It's completely covering my boots right now. As far as road conditions, you can definitely tell that this road has been plowed at least once or twice. Not a lot of traffic out here right now. Um, the cars that we have been seeing drive by are they're taking their time. Well, this car's kind of going fast there, actually. You can see some cars right here covered in snow. I mean, if you are going out, try to take it slow. Um, when you go out this morning, you can see not a lot of traffic. We're also next to a shopping center over here, this store just opened and I've seen maybe a total of like two people walk in there so people are definitely not really out and about right now if you do have to go out this morning try to take your time um, we're also seeing some snow plows driving through I'm actually seeing one coming down the road right now and helping kind of clear some of these roads we're going to stay out here and continue monitoring these conditions for you so you know what to expect if you do have to head out this morning guys back to you yes, sometimes the grocery store parking lots are the first uh, to be a plowed other times yeah they're they're really covered thank you christian cdot says plow drivers are working 12 hours on 12 hours off right now in the metro area proper, uh, it's going to be a little over 100 plows, wh which is our normal complement. Um, because this storm is going to stretch, you know, really from Wyoming down to New Mexico, uh, you know, we'll have another 100 or so plows up in the northern front range uh, area and another 100 or so, you know, working from Colorado Springs, you know, all the way down to Raton Pass on the New Mexico line. Uh, CDOT told us it has more than 100 new plow drivers, so it's a good time to remember, give those plows room to work. We've seen plows hit with people who, you know, are, are following too close, are trying to pass in front of plows as, as they're trying to clear roads. Um, you know, just do that common sense thing. You know, keep a little bit of distance. Uh, you know, pace yourselves behind them if possible. Frankly, it's the safest place to be on the road um, on, on something that's just been cleared. Of course, their best advice, if you can work from home, it's good to just do that today.
Right. Well, like CDOT uh, on a local level, the city of Denver also has its plow drivers on a 12 hour schedule today. The city has deployed the big plows for the main streets and the smaller residential plows for the side streets. What they'll do is they'll take a single pass down the center of each side street. What they do is help provide a path for residents to get from their side streets to the main streets. They also help prevent um, deep ice rutting. And those residential plows are scheduled to run from 3 a.m. to 3 p.m. this afternoon. Also, a heads up, if you're headed out to the airport, if you're planning on flying out or picking someone up out at DIA today, according to FlightAware, there are 131 cancellations already this morning and a handful of delays. Um, Chicago's airports, Dallas airports, other major hubs that are impacted by this winter storm. You can also get the latest weather and traffic conditions throughout the day anytime by downloading the free Denver 7 Plus app to your mobile or streaming device. We have a 24 7 weather stream, also an interactive radar, and our hour by hour forecast. That is free for Roku, Amazon Fire, Apple, or Android devices. Lisa. Just leave it on 7 and go back to bed. How nice would that be? If you have to get up, it's going to be a hot cup of coffee kind of day. Look at how cold it is. Right now we're down to about 12. It feels like about 5 degrees below zero. Highs are going to be right around 15 to about 17. And tomorrow morning, we're talking well below zero. I'll show you just how cold it's going to get, plus when some of the heavier pockets of snow will taper off. And if you do need to get out, you can get out, but it's going to be challenging with the buses. There are so many operators that are not uh, running right now, buses that are not running right now, unfortunately, uh, because the operators are not able to get to their bus, and then the buses are also delayed as well. So we do have some very slick conditions, obviously, out and about. We'll take a look at all those conditions coming up in just a minute. Well, will we have six more weeks of this winter weather <laughs> or are we going to get an early spring overnight or rather early this morning? Punxsutawney Phil made his Groundhog Day prediction. And we want to see what conditions look like where you live this morning. So share your photos right now to the Discover Colorado Facebook page. We know it is a snowy one wherever you are this morning. We'll highlight some of your photos throughout the morning here.